Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Baruin Build. Today we are back here in the Steampunk City as per usual. We don't really leave this area it seems and that is okay. I am so inspired to build in this area so that is uh, definitely helpful when it comes to not wanting to leave. Uh, last episode we built up that guy right there and as you can see i haven't done any extra work um, i'm actually trying to backlog a bit because emma and i are potentially going to savannah georgia uh for a little trip but not not really sure we're trying to de decide if we actually should with the coronavirus and all that stuff just trying to figure that out but this is what we made last episode it's a little logging like uh, sawmill. That's what it is. I couldn't come up with the name last episode and it took me a mo hot moment even now. For some reason, I just can't think of the word. Um, but they would come up here and this is where they would be cutting all of the wood. And so that is a really nice. And then we got a log pile here and then they sort it all out and it will sort it out here. Probably won't get to this today because I have a really cool build to do right here where you see all this. Um, and I'm really excited to get right on into this. So because I'm backlogging, I'm going to try and make this a pretty fairly short episode, quick and to the point. Uh, building is going to be a little bit more like cut and dry in terms of like, we're going to build this, boom, we've built it. We're going to build this, boom, we built it. Um, I'll, of course, try and explain things to you as we go, um, but not going to be doing tons of building on camera, but I'll try and make it a step-by-step -step process sort of thing. Uh, just to make it so it's a little bit more entertaining for you. Um, but what we're doing right now is this is going to be the area where that we're working in, of course. Um, and this is going to be like a, a air, mini airship landing pad. Um, and what's going to be happening is they're going to have some airships that come in and land around here, get loaded up with wood to be taken around the city. Um, and so that that's what this is. Uh, primary purpose is to distribute wood around the city rather than loading like, and this may even load up over, like load up here, go to the Harbor District um, to then take to other cities and stuff. But this primary purpose is to load things up for the steampunk city. All right, done a little bit of work and uh, so made the platform all out of wood just to make it so that it looks similar to that area over there. There's going to be a lot of wood being drug around here, so I figured it, it should be kind of covered in like sawdust and stuff. And now we are beginning the portion here. This is going to be the carrying portion of the sort of log blimp thing. And so that will turn into something, but let's focus on this here. So this is gonna be the platform where the logs sit. Um, it is one, two, three, four, five wide because that matches how long they're gonna be cut there. Um, and so wanted to make it so it's a little bit consistent. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is putting some walls like this, and this is going to be attachment points for our air balloon. Um, I figured air, an air balloon would be a better uh, source of flying rather than some like helicopter thing, just because it didn't really seem like it would fit the aesthetic if it was actually a flying helicopter as opposed to an air balloon, because we already have the flying blimp sort of stuff going on in this world, so I figured this would be a better solution. So what we're going to be doing here, this is the side. So we're going to be doing this right here. And so this will make it so there, this is kind of like a, a gate to hold a wall, if you will, to hold in the logs. This is going to be the section that is actually open. So we're going to actually make this so it sticks out like this as if it is open. And then this one, uh, let's go at the top being what's there and then this one and we'll put the bottom so this is like an interlocking sort of mechanism so when they close they end up like this and all sides can do that um, this is just the one that we'll have open to showcase that now and then we should have enough to finish this off and there we go i think that looks good what we're going to do is just plop a little lantern there i think that'll be good that'll kind of close off and be like in the middle and then we'll put one in the middle on each one of these just to be consistent and then it also lights this place up even though i mean it's already pretty freaking lit up um, and now i'm gonna tackle this this is going to be 
the sort of the uh, how you say the drivers area. Uh, so essentially what's going to happen is it's going to have like a little extension area here. Um, and there's going to be like kind of just a driver's capsule to keep him out of the elements. Um, and he can actually kind of uh, drive this, I guess, automotive mobile, but it's not really automotive, this airship, drive the airship um, and then need to figure out one thing I did not plan on that I, I just didn't do is I, I don't know exactly how he controls it. I need to actually figure that out. So I'll also do that off camera uh, and try and figure that out. And then I'll be back with you. All right, finishing up the last little bit. Need to put a stair there and a comparator there. Flip it so it's on looking. And uh, now we are done with this. So here's a look at it. I know it looks a little strange, but I think it's so good. Uh, one thing I do want to do, I think, is add a stair or potentially a slab on this side. It seems weirdly empty here. Uh, could we do like a stair? I don't think I like that. I think we need, uh, yeah, I don't know because I, I don't want this to be a full wall. I think it'd be kind of silly to have a full wall. Maybe what we do is we bring this up. We'll strip it so it doesn't look too crazy. That way he has kind of like a place to sit stuff. And then we just bring, I don't even know what to do here because I, I don't want, maybe what we do is we do that and then that, and we can still get through if we do that there. I think that works. I think that works fine. And then it looks, I mean, it looks perfectly fine. Uh, maybe let's go get some more trap doors really quick and then we'll take a real brief look at it uh, overall. Um, yeah, I really like how this has turned out. I think it looks good. Let's do, uh, okay, not there. There we go. I think that looks fine. Uh, so the whole entire premise of it is, let's go ahead and do that. So you have to kind of flip that up in order to get out. Uh, so this is kind of the driving mechanism. Now I know it kind of seems silly because it doesn't have a balloon above it, but that's what we're gonna be making next um, and so this is uh, kind of interesting. So I wanted it's the balloon goes is like centered on this as it should be. And then this is kind of off to the side. And I was like, you know, let's make it so it's a little bit of an interesting sort of like side thing, uh, sort of, you know, it, motorcycles that have like the little side cart. This is like the side cart to the uh, air balloon. So I thought it was kind of cool. Made, added that. That wasn't in the original design, but this is like a little propeller. I thought this was a cool little propeller design. I think it looks really nice. Um, and so you'll notice there is a redstone lamp up there. That is sort of the headlights because they will always need to be able to see at night. Uh, and when they, it's not at night, there's a piston up there that makes it so the, the, that guy turns off. Actually, you know what? I thought of a better way to do it. It's just pillar on up and put that there. I think that is good. So we'll turn it to night mode. So it just turns on automatically. And if they want a way to turn it on manually, say they're going through a dark tunnel or something, that's when the piston would take place of the darkness. Um, and I think that is cool. And it adds a little bit more to the design aesthetic, not much, but I think it looks good. So now let's go ahead and get on into building up the balloon. Uh, let me go ahead and build the sphere portion of it up and then we'll go back through and do the detailing ourselves. All right, so what we are going to be doing now is uh, building the balloon. And for the balloon, we need to place blocks on each side here. And this is 22 blocks tall in turn from the platform so 22 blocks up um, and what we need to actually do is kind of take into consideration what side i think we'll make the stripes go this way so we actually should be putting red on either side here because there's going to be a central stripe that goes a central like it's going to go white red white red uh, so it's going to be a striped balloon, and I think it's going to look 
very nice. Actually, I knew it looks nice because this part I have actually already built uh, because these are are kind of tricky to actually do. Uh, they get can be a little tough uh, to actually get the shape of them right because you have to have to like make spears and it can just kind of get crazy. So this is what the top is going to look like. Now let's get rid of that. So this is what the top looks like. Uh, now I may extend this up by one, but I don't think I want to. And essentially what we're going to be doing, let's see if we can get down here. And then let's get, oh, I guess I should pick up the rest of this stuff. So essentially what we're going to be doing now is going just down by a block and then putting whatever striped pattern we need. So since we did this over here, we'll do a red one here. And so it'll be three red here. And then let's see if we can get this guy right there. And then that will be good. OK, so I ended up just building it uh, because uh, I am pressed for time and I want to get it done and want to show you this and get it out to you. So let's uh, take a look. Here is the finished product. I think it looks very, very cool. The balloon itself, I believe, is just a nine by nine sphere. And then I kind of just drug the bottom down. Uh, to come to kind of a cone shape. And I think it looks overall very, very nice. Um, so essentially, you just have uh, you take the top half of it and then just kind of draw instead of this, the sphere would probably end like right here. Uh, I just started adding an extra layer down below and then just kind of drew it together. Uh, so it's all attached by these like ropes. We've got hanging lanterns on it to indicate so that like anything else flying around knows that they are there. Um, and then we've got this kind of interesting mechanism here that is supposed to be like the control for the flame. Um, and so we've got here are the logs here. This is kind of what it would look like. Um, and so they're all kind of tied down. The best way to enter is via here. So you come in here and this is like if the person's sitting here and, and steering it, they are able to kind of see where like they're, they're able to control the height that they're flying via this mechanism because it feeds into the flame. Um, and I think that that is pretty cool. I am very happy with this. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. This build, I think it looks very, very cool. I am, yeah. I'm just very happy with this, but that is all the time that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I know it's been a little bit quick and sporadic, but I think it is a very cool addition to this area. I think this uh, little landing pad looks very cool. Let's take a flyby just to see what it is like from afar. So let's get right here. Oh yeah, so it adds just a little bit of pop of color. You don't really know what it is until you get a little bit closer, but you can tell now that it is something to do with sort of an airship and wow, did not. Oh wait, let's go, let's try that again. Let's try that again. But I think it looks very, very cool. I am, I'm very pleased with how it has turned out. It's gonna look much better. Like once this entire area is made out of this material, I think it's gonna look very, very cool. As I say, that is all I've got time for today. So I hope you have enjoyed. And if you have, leave a like in real life. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Oh, bye bye.